What's up everybody? It's July 15th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake or Big Bear City actually and we're getting some some rain and it looks like a thunderstorm right above us. This is what I do. You guys know this is what I do. So I'm, you know, well it's part of what I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, oops, here we go. So yeah, I'm hopefully Hopefully we're gonna get some good lightning out of this. This one's right above us. So if we do, it'll be loud and really Really awesome. So we're just gonna kind of Let's see here Go back through this way. Look at how high those clouds go. That's amazing. That is so pretty I mean those are really really high cloud tops up there So cold up there so that's why I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna get some lightning out of this right here, but. And sorry about the noise, that's my air compressor for my train horn. It hasn't shut off in about 10 minutes. If it goes another minute or two, it's probably gonna burn itself out. The air compressor's gonna burn itself out. Or at least, I don't know. So, wow, look at these clouds. And it smells really good too, huh? Wow. So yesterday we saw lightning and didn't get any rain. Today we're getting rain and not seeing any lightning. Seriously, those clouds are really, really pretty right there. Oh my gosh, this thing needs to shut up. It really feels like they're like blowing up right over us here. The humidity levels went up super quick. Like, I could feel it. Maybe we'll get a little tornado up here. <laughs> wow, these are some big raindrops. And no, it's not because it's dropping off of the trees. better days. Wow. So it looks like we're kind of getting into the heavier part of this one. That air compressor is so irritating. Seriously, I'm sorry you guys. It's irritating. There's Cindy right there. It's okay, 73, it's 73 degrees. Well, I'm telling you, these clouds are, are pretty nasty above us. But I'm really about to go crazy because of this air compressor. Freaking thing, man. <laughs> Sorry, I saw something and I was thinking about something funny. Maybe a little inappropriate for the channel. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, that air compressor won't stop. Well, anyway, you guys, this is what we got going on. We're gonna go back on the Big Bear Boulevard for a minute and head over towards Big Bear Lake. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get on here. Oh wow, that was easy. It's never easy to leave Circle K right there. There's always traffic going both ways. You gotta, and then they have a big pothole there, so it kind of screws with your car as well because you gotta go fast. We need this. Super excited. It's not going to be much, just a few drops, but that's okay. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm excited that I get to do two videos in a row for you guys. Like, that makes me happy. I know this isn't initially what the channel was. It was basically for the snow, but you know, I've done these.
summer videos every summer or yeah and some seasons it was very very minimal but this season's been okay so far I think this is the third or fourth time for the so-called not the so-called but the monsoon season oh my gosh guys I'm gonna turn this off and then once we're through the traffic I'll turn it back on the compressor is annoying. Alright, you guys, this stupid, stupid dumb thing won't shut off, so we're just gonna drive over to my friend's shop who installed it just so he can, I don't know, take out the fuse or whatever. But yeah, so we're heading into Big Bear Lake from the Big Bear City area, and that's the side of town that gets hit with the thunderstorms first and hardest. Big Bear City and in the wintertime when we get our winter storms we get hit on Big Bear Lake first with the storms. sap out of these trees because these trees are killing our cars. Small price to pay to live in Big Bear, I guess. shop and, and guys this is the one I've told you guys for years and years that he's the he's the best one up here I trust him very much he's my Harley riding partner he's just a good dude I always I always tell you guys that if you feel like you got ripped off I'll, I'll pay your bill that's how much I trust him he's a really good guy but it'll probably shut off right as we're getting there I hope it does I'm really 
sorry about that loud noise, guys. But I had have to make the video. storm yeah it's, it's not that much but that cloud top was way up there so we should get some lightning out of there i'm thinking you know but we haven't seen anything yet maybe if i keep the camera there we'll get lucky this car might go up soon if this air compressor keeps up without shutting off it's gonna get too hot and it's gonna catch fire so i'm really glad we're getting close to uh my friend's shop because this happened one time before and I had to cut one of the wires. Thankfully it was the right one or we would have exploded. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Knight's Auto, K-N-I-G-H-T-S. On Garston and Big Bear Lake Boulevard, or Big Bear Boulevard, Garston and Big Bear Boulevard. If you go the other way on Garston, when you're on Big Bear Boulevard, that'll be Moonridge Road. Automotive. Super good guy, you guys. Super good guy. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. That's the video for the day. Bye. All right, guys. I just saw the meanest lightning strike right above us, and literally, as soon as you saw it, you heard it, and it was loud cracking. So we're just gonna we're just gonna like chill right here because it was right there. Okay, that's right above Snow Summit. It started raining really heavy, you guys, and I told you we were going to get lightning, and that was an absolutely amazing lightning strike. We've, we've got to wait right here. <laughs> wow. Come on. I don't care if I get the inside of the car soaked. It's soaked all winter time anyway. But yeah, so that's Snow Summit. You guys can see kind of in the background there. Huh. There's that plane flying into the thunderstorm. What is he doing? You, do you guys see that? What is he doing? That's like a big no-no. I was gonna take or take some flight courses. My mom years ago, she was gonna pay for them when I was on the right track. <laughs> All right, so, oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be awesome. It was, it was the loudest lightning or loudest thunder that I've heard in Big Bear since that first video that first year. That's how close it was. It was right on top of us for the most part. Getting freaking soaked. Dang it. Well, you know what? We're just gonna drive. You guys are getting a longer video than normal today for this time of year. This is the waiting game though. So we just had the train horn, air compressor, uh, the cord cut. Guys, it's gonna be right here. Come out right over here. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this stuff. It's just so pretty. It's so powerful. It's something we can't control. I mean, something so simple as these water molecules in the sky can create such incredible power. Oh. It brings up the faith question. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see. It's definitely pouring over there. You, you can see how you can barely see that mountain. It's 
really raining hard over there. Oh man. Well, I know if I shut it off right now, we're not gonna get it, or we're gonna get a lightning bolt as soon as I shut it off, just like it happened this last time. Best lightning bolt ever. silence in the vehicle now it's so nice so nice okay we're just gonna take we're gonna take summit boulevard and then come back around because we're we're gonna follow this storm so we don't miss the next lightning bolt it's gonna be a good one i know it is it's gonna be super close to us oh, there's some spam calling me I don't want any potential spam. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. Guys, these are all the terms of like storm chasing. We're not really storm. Well, I guess we are storm chasing. It's not professionally in any way. No equipment, nothing. Anyway, that's 7 Eleven, you guys. Butcher's block. Introduce you guys to Dave. That's what I should have done. I didn't even think about it. See how fast that service was, guys? He stopped what he was doing on the other car and came right over to mine and helped me out real quick, and I'm off. here to Evergreen and going down Evergreen. We're on Summit Boulevard right now, headed towards Snow Summit Ski Resort and Mountain Bike Trails. The thing is, is like, even if we're not looking right at it, because it's so close to us, it's going to we're gonna capture it in our peripheral vision no matter what. So I'll at least be able to roll down the windows real quick just for a second so you guys can hear how loud it's gonna be. Or at least roll down the window. Sorry, I'm just giggling a bit. I'm just thinking about some things. You know what I'm just thinking right now? It would be so nice if, like, if, all, if all cars had like massaging seats that could give you a massage while you're driving. Because that stuff feels so good. Oh, I think I heard a rumble of thunder. <laughs> oh, I'm a strange one. Oh, yes, I am. So my house, guys, is not on this street with all the mansions, but my house is directly across the street through this little wilderness area right here. Wilderness area. I guess it is a wilderness area. Come on, lightning. This lightning is going to be so close to us. I'm trying to follow this, as I said, so we can get some lightning or even get some hail. So now we're going to come back out Moon Ridge and go back to Big Bear Boulevard and follow it that way. 
Guys, this is the first storm chasing we've like really done. I, I go find the snow for you guys all the time, but this is the first like actual, like trying to kept, catch up to the storm and stay with it. Oh, I'm so glad it's hitting heavy at my house too right now because it's gonna clean the trees out. No more pollen this season. I think this is going to be the final rinse that we need to get rid of the pollen and the tree dandruff. <laughs> Trandruff. Trandruff. Sober as a judge. Mendez, who owns the dude's delivery service up here, just uh, texted me. He and I used to be best friends up here for a long time. This guy's a cool guy. He gave me like one of the nicest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gis ever. Like a special gi, and I was and I, I just loved it. But anyway, I'll get back to him later. But yeah, you guys probably knew him many, many years ago. He owned Big Bear Jiu Jitsu. And then my friend Jovan started Bear City Jiu-Jitsu. Crazy. Surprised there's not a Big Bear Lake Jiu-Jitsu too. Everybody comes and trains up here, you would think there'd be just Jiu-Jitsu on every corner. But yeah, you guys should be happy to see this rain because our lake needs this and it's really coming down like right where we need it to come down. So the runoff will be just quick and swift right to the lake. And yes, you guys, everything in my life is going great. I hope everything's going great for you guys. It's amazing how fast like things can change emotionally in life. You guys remember last Thanksgiving time? Like I went to the ER for like for, like a panic attack. I felt so weak. Like it was like the scariest feeling in the world though. And, and like I, I literally thought I was having a heart attack. That's why I went in. It was, it was it was freaky. But just to think like seven eight months later, like life can be so much different. So don't give up hope on. On anything wherever you're at in life whatever you're feeling just know that like from the from the pits of hell you you can in a very short amount of time start to get what you need and want out of life and start to enjoy life again I'm a perfect example so just keep fighting that good fight because life is worth it I know we all struggle a lot And some of you are going through the hardest things right now. Like our friend Albert Escalante. He's lost a few family members just in the past like couple months here, you guys. And he and his family are struggling big time right now. So all of you who are super thoughtful, which is all of you, maybe just think about them for a few minutes, you know? channel is not just for weather and beautiful videos I've realized that a lot of you like communicate with each other and we all communicate and it's it's about being brothers and sisters to each other and just helping when we can you guys know that you guys point that out all the time but yeah come on lightning bolt it'll be right there <laughs> it'll be right there if it happens it wasn't right where I thought it would happen earlier, but it was in the same part of the cloud.
guys, I need to go to the grocery store and get some pineapple juice. Because I came up with this amazing drink. It was it was total accident. I, I came up with it. I'm not telling you guys how it's made. But if I ever see you, I'll make it for you. It's my version of Italian soda. It's really good. Came up with it all by myself. <laughs> no help from anybody. Seriously, you guys, it's literally it's the most it's the most refreshing, thirst quenching drink I've ever had. It really is. Like you can't get enough of it. <laughs> you can't get enough of it. You know, maybe for a hundred bucks, I'll give you the recipe. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, it's so good. So good. All right, so we're gonna turn right here. We're gonna kind of go through some of the streets that we don't go through often. Like Fox Farm and, uh, yeah, I'm just having a good time with you guys today. And we're gonna drive back into the storm a bit. But I can't believe it, you guys. Literally, as soon as I turned off the stupid camera, that big, huge lightning bolt and before the lightning bolt even went away, you could hear the thunder. It was that close. Let's see, we're gonna drive into it now. Hopefully we get something. I was at my friend's house trying to upload this video yesterday. And I'm telling you, like, my internet, you guys, is so amazing. I didn't realize how lucky I am. This video is so long, I'm gonna have to definitely uh, get it done at my place. needed to be washed. And look, we're getting a car wash. Okay, so we're entering, uh, I don't know what the technical name for this part of town is. I want to say like Fox Farm. clouds coming in over the mountain top right there. The eventual supercell hopefully to come over over Big Bear. I don't think we actually had a supercell here today, not even close, but we did have some super high cloud tops. So that's why I knew we would get some lightning and we did. But only when I turn off the camera. It's like trying to get that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's like every time I'm trying to capture that, that lighting, I never capture it with you guys. I capture it like just with my own eyes. What a beautiful street this is. Cute homes. This side, those are my two favorite homes here. That one and this one on this street. Oh wait, no, and this one too, my three favorite homes. <laughs> I think two of those are the same owner because they look very similar to the homes. And I believe they're Airbnb properties as well. I guess everything up here is pretty much Airbnb property. So right now we're going to go to Stater Brothers and that's where the video is going to end y'all. Uh, right now we are on Coug uh, Cougar. Yeah, Cougar, I think. And Cougar, we were just on McAllister, so McAllister turns into Cougar. And then we want to take this to Elm Street. So McAllister, just think of Home Alone, and then think you're, you're driving all the way to Elm Street. There you go. So Freddy's house. It's really easy to remember. Home Alone, Freddy. Kevin McAllister.
wait, I can go straight, what am I doing? I was gonna go down Moon Ridge, and I probably should have just to show you guys the progress on the Moon Ridge Corridor. The Moon Ridge Corridor. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but it sounds good. Oh, snap. Okay, keep your eye out for lightning. Can you kind of... said you guys we, we had a zero percent or it was like six percent chance today of like this happening even when i got up this morning not too early either it still said a super minor chance usually when it's like anything below 30 percent, it usually won't happen but not only did it happen but we got some, some pretty good downpours Super excited to see Stater Brothers, so I'll shut it off once we get to see Stater. <laughs> Everyone loves to see Stater Brothers. <laughs> People honk all the time, and a lot of times on those days, like I'll get comments from like you guys, "Hey, I saw you. I honked at you. You flipped me off." <laughs> Just kidding. But oh, I've told you guys, like when someone honks at me, I'm like assuming it's like they're like being they're angry at me. So my initial reaction is. You know, like how most of us are, unfortunately, or not most of us, but at least I am. Dude, like, do something. Oh, that guy just rear-ended him. Do you see that? <laughs> oh no! Where am I gonna park? Where am I going to park? You know what? I'm gonna park right here, in front of Mountain Munchies. It's a good spot. Hi you guys, it's good to see you guys. It's July 14th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California and we just had some thunderstorms. Hope you enjoyed all the heavy rain. Peace out you guys, I can't wait to talk to you guys soon.